morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Maddie. I'm Greg. And this is Koh Yao Noi, a tiny island in Thailand. It's about five in the morning and we're hopping on the bike and going in search. Greg, wrong button. <laughs> we're going in search of some trees. Let me explain. <laughs> When we first arrived on the island, we couldn't believe how many tree plantations we were seeing. And turns out, these are all rubber trees! Rubber is a material that's used to make loads of different things. It's waterproof, it can be stretchy, sometimes it's hard, but it all starts out as tree sap. It's also called latex and it's a runny, milky liquid. It's hiding inside these trees. The liquid latex that comes out of a tree flows best in the morning, the very early morning, which is why we got up when it was dark. To get to the latex, the locals use a process called tapping, and we wanted to see it in action. We found someone. I don't know if you can hear this, but we found a Thai worker. He's going to show me how it's done. made where the slice was made and you can see that latex hiding behind the bark. Oh sorry. It's okay. <laughs> and instantly the latex you can see it dribbling out here. Mm. It's following the line of the groove and then it goes down oh, to this little spout and then this funnels the latex into a plastic bag. God, oh, cool. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you, Kokunga. <laughs> okay, I've finally taken my helmet off. <laughs> and I'm so pleased that we actually got to see someone tapping the rubber tree in action. And we did have to get up at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and you can hear it's early because all the cockerels are just, they will not stop. And there's good reason for it because as soon as the sun comes up, the temperature gets so hot that all of the latex inside the tree becomes sticky and it won't flow so well along those grooves. So it has to be done when the temperature is at its coolest and that's around now. So these guys will work from about two till five, 5.30 in the morning. Oh, it's all right though. That's really good. Really good isn't it? So chuffed. Yeah. But what do they do with the latex once it's all dripped out? Good question, Maddie. Let's ask daytime Maddie the same thing. Hey, daytime Maddie, after you've had a sleep and some breakfast, <laughs> what happens next? Now in some places that cool runny latex is collected and then it's brought to a preparation area and the first thing they'll do is strain it to make sure that any bits and bugs that might have got stuck in the latex have been cleaned out and then everything goes through one of these machines. This place is so cool. So what happens is you get all your latex, your runny latex and then you pour it into a tray then you need to add something. And what you add is what's inside these bottles here, and that's acid. When you add the acid to the latex, it gets thicker, it coagulates. Then it basically turns into like a dough. So if you're making like pizza at home or bread, you'll have your dough that you'll then need to knead and roll out into whatever shape you want. Well, to roll it out, they're gonna use this, this, Oh yes, oh, it's working. Uh, so you'd, you'd feed your latex dough in there and it would get squashed and then it would come out in these big flat sheets and then you'd sell those big flat sheets of latex. But looking at the state of this, this hasn't been used for quite a while. But it's really awesome. <laughs> On this island, they don't really use this machine anymore. It's not worth the extra money for all the work it takes. Instead, they just leave the latex dripping into these cups and then they let the heat of the day dry it out. Then when those cups are full, 
you end up with something like this. It just looks like a giant rubber ball. Now this obviously isn't ready to be used. So the farmers will collect up all of the rubber and then they'll send it to another factory where it will go through some more processes to either make it really strong and hard to make things like um, Wellington boots or they'll work it so it becomes soft and stretchy to make things like birthday balloons. I'm going to put this down now because one thing you should know about rubber is that once it gets hot and sticky and it's been lying around for a while, it absolutely stinks. Yeah. It's, 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 it's really bad. I am so impressed that you held that for so long. Uh. <laughs> uh. Well, that was an exciting morning. We're heading home now for some well-deserved breakfast. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more. Stay curious and we'll see you soon. Oh. Bye. It's amazing that in just a few days, <laughs> it really, really stinks. Why are we making so many videos about smelly things? <laughs> Thailand. This almost smells worse than the Raffalesia.